Hi, I'm Tracy from JuiceRecipes.com. Have you ever battled a sugar addiction? I know I have. This has been my biggest struggle in trying to get healthy and stay healthy and stay on track. I've been addicted to sugar since I was a little kid. It was something that gave me comfort, it made me feel good. I just, I lived next door to a candy man and he used to take us to his warehouse and give us a bag and we get to fill it up with whatever we wanted. So sugar had great memories for me. I, I always thought of it as a source of comfort and a source of feeling good. Well, as I got older and I had to recover from some major illness, I had to change my life completely and I had to leave that sugar addiction behind and it was not easy. So today I wanted to share with you a few things that I've done to get off of sugar and I've had to do it more than once. So if you do this and you find yourself back where you were, don't beat yourself up. Don't stay in that spot. Just jump right back in and do it again. If you fall seven times, get up eight. And that's what I've had to do. So I just want to share with you a few things that I've done that have been very effective. The first thing was a recommendation by Dr. Walker. He's actually the father of juicing. He created the concept of juicing. And what he would say is take take your juicer get it out and make yourself a tall glass of orange juice to help break a sugar addiction now i just like things a little more interesting than that so i like to take orange carrot and a little bit of apple and make my juice like that and that just tastes a little bit better to me and the other thing is say you want to dive into a big bag of cookies i know this might sound like what that can't be as good grab a couple of dates, pitted dates. And I know that may not sound like that's gonna help, but it does, it's very satisfying. It just kinda scratches that itch. It helps you to not crave that sugar. And the other thing that happens is when you do go get a bag of cookies, a craving is not necessarily a bad thing. Your body wants something. It is calling out for something. So trying to fill that craving with a bag of cookies it just further deprives your body. It further sets you back. It adds toxic sugar to your body. Um, things that you don't need, chemicals, additives, white flour. Just try doing this with a couple of dates and see if that doesn't help. And then another thing is, sometimes I've been out and everybody's getting dessert at a restaurant and I'll think, oh, it looks so good. And what I do is I keep a little bar of organic dark chocolate at home. And I'll just think, you know what, I got that. I can have that later, a couple of squares later. And eating a couple squares of organic dark chocolate is a whole lot better than diving into a great big piece of chocolate cake. And then I don't know about you, but I used to just love chocolate milkshakes. So I've actually created my own delicious milkshake. I take a can of whole coconut milk and two frozen bananas, a, maybe a date or two, some chia seeds, and cocoa to taste, cocoa, real cocoa powder to taste. Some people like more than others, so you kind of, it's, it's not really, you start out with a couple tablespoons and then just add as you go. And then put that all in the blender, whip it up, and you have yourself this delicious chocolate shake or a fake one that's not gonna make you feel bad afterwards and that's not gonna add refined sugar to your diet. Now the other thing I like to do is I actually have sugar flashcards. So when I'm getting a crave, especially around the holidays, I mean, it's just all around you. Everybody's making things, grandma's making desserts, she's shoving them in your face and you're just like, oh, I want that so bad. And so I have these flashcards and one of them says, stay focused and then i've done a lot of research on sugar and what it does so i have those on my flashcards sugar gradually destroys the texture of the kidneys when you think about what it's doing to your body how your body is made and what it does for you every day like did you know the urethral tube is it's so small and so delicate that if it were outside of your body you could put it in between your fingernail and snap it in two Yet by the time an average man is 50 years old, enough liquid has passed through that tube to fill 40 train cars. 
So think about what you're putting through that tube. When you're putting sugar and caffeinated drinks and, and just all kinds of things through that tube, what are you doing to your body over time? So just something to remember, sugar paralyzes the immune system for up to four hours after you've consumed it. And then sugar, refined white sugar, slows the creation of new healthy tissue. It causes liver fat accumulation and weight gain. And sugar is addictive. I am living proof of that. I was an addict and I could be tomorrow if I started up on it again. And then another thing I have on my flashcards is I have a picture of what I aspire to be. And I have on, that, on top of that picture, I want to keep this body. I've worked hard in the gym. I've worked hard at home. I've eaten the right things. I don't want to undo it by chowing down on sugar every day. Refined sugar is poison to the body. That's also on my flashcards. Another great motivator for me is Dr. Robert Lustig. He has, a, he has some videos on YouTube and one of them, he was on 60 Minutes and he talks at length about sugar and what it does and some research about what it can do to your body. That is very motivating and it can sure take the fun out of wanting to dive into a big piece of cake. So I would suggest go watch Dr. Lustig on YouTube. He's got a TED Talk that's excellent and he's a great guy and he's got a, he's got a documentary called Fed Up. Excellent. I recommend it highly. And then another thing I write down on my flashcards, eat an apple, lady. Just get a piece of fruit. Go in the fridge. You don't have to make it. You don't have to create anything. Just eat an orange, eat an apple, get a handful of grapes. That may, you'd be surprised how effective that is in helping you. And then the other thing is I just remind myself again and again, stay focused. Keep my goals in front of me. What's most important, the, the right now or the, what I'm trying to accomplish, what I'm trying to achieve, the health I'm trying to have in the future. So these are all just some things that I've done to keep myself motivated and this is how I stay focused. So these cards are just one way that I like to stay motivated. And I thank you for visiting my website. Stay tuned for more videos to come and from all of us at juicerecipes.com, have an awesome day. Thanks.